This is IPC's manor house. This is IPC's entrance sign. IPC is located in Helsingør, Denmark. Helsingør. 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 This is a film about the International People's College, the Folk High School. The students of IPC decided that this film should be narrated by me, the current principal, Søren. He's got a great voice. <laughs> Thank you, guys. IPC has been considered a place where we educate global minds to become global citizens. An unusual school where students are free to study whatever the hell they want, and teachers are free to teach however the hell they want. In 1921, Peter Manicke, a true visionary and idealist, had this crazy idea that if people from countries that had been former enemies in war could live, work and study together in a school such as this one, it would generate mutual respect and acceptance. He would also deal with conflict situations by doing headstands until things cooled off. We'll get back to that. IPC currently hosts 80 students, four kitchen chefs, seven main teachers, two student teachers and almost everyone sleeps on campus. This ecosystem is often referred to as the bubble. IPC, it's like a bubble. In this family environment, things usually work better than the real world, also known as the outside. Apart from the students and staff members, IPC has welcomed some significant guests, such as the first non-European Nobel Prize laureate for literature, Rabindranath Tagore, the first prime minister and president of Kenya, Jomo Kenyatta, Her Royal Highness the Queen of Denmark, Margaret, and her husband, His Royal Highness Prince Henrik of Denmark, and the Nobel Prize nominee, human rights advocate and activist, Cecil Rajendra. This is the IPC common room piano. This is IPC's Wi-Fi password. In a hundred years, IPC will probably be remembered as a place where you can meet the love of your life who lives in a faraway continent. A place where you can go around in pyjamas all day without anybody noticing. And a place where you will be brainwashed into believing in yourself and getting out there and making a positive change. And here are the babes and the global challenge cross. Human rights and active global citizenship. Innovativity. Choir. Design and architecture. As a part of the school life, students are expected to attend classes. Always. I know, it's shocking. As a Danish folk high school, there are no exams, no marks or grades. This is IPC's computer room lamp. Wow, this designer is amazing. I yeah, know, just look at those blades. Expensive but worth it. Yeah. Another Danish design obsession that you can find in IPC is a chair. When the afternoon sunshine hit the chairs and it has a beautiful shadow, it will decorate your room. Danish design. Oh, wow. nice. Amazing. Some Danes do have a design chair obsession, but they're good people. IPC is the only international Danish folk high school hosting more than 30 nationalities, five represented continents, usually, and the only school that hosted more than once a wedding of multicultural couples, twice to be exact. In IPC, classes are taught in English, and that should be a main language. But if you walk the corridors, you might come across groups of speakers from a different language. IPC has a fine website, a YouTube channel, but more importantly, an IPC Students Movies channel where you can find videos like this one. Be sure to check it out, and if you're still available to save the world, you can always apply for the next spring or autumn term at IPC. See you there. <laughs>